Yo, what's up guys? AFC Dino here, yeah? bringing you another video. Uh, today, guys, um, the season is almost ending. We did manage to pick up our top 100, but as you can see, we're really close to falling out of that category. Um, just because uh, there's st people will still play a few matches and we can drop out of the top 100. So I'm just going to play some extra games for you, uh, giving you some extra content in the process as well. At the moment, we have 164 battle points. <laughs> Pretty nice. But yeah, I'm going to play a few games and hopefully we can uh, make sure that we'll stay top 100 for season three. I don't have to skip here. The timer's almost running out anyway. So hopefully uh, we can get a few good games in <laughs> and hopefully we won't lose. But we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Yeah, first battle of the day, guys, so obviously <laughs> takes a bit slow. But Okay. So Delbra Guard Jump has to be. I don't see necessarily a defogger, so he leads with the Rotom. As I lead Rose Raid. But like Rose Raid flat pretty good well up against this team but i'll just spike up against this this club i'm not sure what this club wants to do to me it is a novice trainer though so i cannot expect too much but since i don't really see it unless uh scissor is a debugger um i don't see a debugger on this team so if i get get up a spike it will most likely stay there. And since four, oh, actually five members of his team are effective, affected by spikes, it's really nice to have him up. And I don't see those clubs doing anything to me. Maybe as Ice Punch. <laughs> I guess for Trick Room, a bit strange because he's running. A, if that's a Dragon Dance, uh, Gyarados, that's strange. I'm just going to set up another spike. And he has a Jolteon as well. Garchomp is pretty fast too. Goes for a Will O Wisp. Interesting. <laughs> I have natural cure, so I don't really care. Um, at this point, I not sure what he wants to do. I just fire off a toxic. Worst thing he could do is bring in the scissor. Maybe I should have just gone for another spikes. To be honest, I wouldn't have lost anything from it. And he does indeed go into the scissor, so that's a bit unfortunate for me. Hopefully, he's not choice man in pursuit. <laughs> Crazy if he goes for it though. I'll just bring in uh, my Hippowden on this. Good to decently well. It's life orb, okay. It's quite a bit of damage, but I'll go for my Stealth Rock. As he goes for U-turn now. So, he probably pretty low. But Scizor is pretty low as well. And I have both my hazards up. So, he might just die to my hazards to be honest. But he goes into Conkelder now. Not sure what Conkelder is going to do to be honest. Um, Most of them don't run speed. Trick Room just ended. I'm going to slack off. Hopefully I'm outspeeding him. Yeah. Because he's he was running this on... Uh, trick for him, so it had to be slow, right? Let's go for Drain Punch. Doing quite a bit of damage. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna Earthquake. Scissor is already pretty low. If I can get rid of this, that would be nice. It's gonna take a lot of damage. Must I'm probably into Mach Punch range, but I don't want him recovering. Uh, I already have my hazards up. He does go for Mach Punch, and it does knock me out. But Conkelder should be gone as well. And Scizor is really low, plus if he does live, he's life orb. Okay. So in terms of leading here... Multiple things we can do. But... He... If he leads with Jolteon, I want 
I kind of want my Salamence in since it's Joy Scarf, and with the hazards, he should be dying, right? So, Dragon Claw should, yeah, I should do like, yeah, with the hazards damage, he should die. Dragon Claw. That's what we're just going. That's what we're going to do, guys. Go Salamence, and he does go into the Jolteon. Otherwise, uh. We would have killed anything anyway, uh, aside from dust clubs. But now Jolteon comes in, and we can just uh, Dragon Claw this. He probably won't expect the Choice Scarf. Yeah, it's it, it's really nice having spike access to spikes when your opponent doesn't have a Rapid Spin or Defog around their team. He does stay in, and we get the free Dragon Claw. I'm pretty sure anything else would... Well, Gyarados would intimidate my live, actually. But Dust Clubs comes in. Spikes in and Stall Rock. He did show Will-O-Wisp, so I'm just gonna go back into Rose Raid. Rose Raid. I did Trick Rooms again, okay. That is uh, pretty interesting. Any forfeits? I was going to set up my last layer of spikes, um, but yeah. Oh, I don't have to. There's a chat. See how many points we have. Eight hundred seven point three. Eight hundred seven point three. That should put us at there. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna play another game. Oh. We were ranked 99 before the update, so... <laughs> but we should be ranked 97. So the next game goes immediately. I'm gonna open up the battle tab. Yeah, we got point twenty eight from that last game. This does look like Trick Room as well. With Gengar? I think. I'm gonna lead Mian Shao. If he wants to lead with a Trick Room, or we can potentially taunt. Even though I think he has the Mental Herb. The Bronze Heart. He goes into Gengar. Ooh, that's uh, not good. That's not good. I'm gonna bring in my, uh, my Rotom on this. He does actually switch out into Kofagrigus. Okay. This team doesn't have a Defogger Rider, so if I can get up my spikes, anything would take damage. I'm gonna Volt Switch. If he stays in, we can get in our Rose Raid. I don't think he goes directly into Marowak, uh, since I do back the, the Hydro Pump. He does end up staying in. So we can get in Rose Raid and maybe get up a Spikes, depending on what he does. That's f okay, that's a... F I haven't seen a Curse Kofagrigus in ages. <laughs> Okay, so are you cursed pain split? However, though, um, even though he has me cursed, even though he has me cursed, I'm gonna go for toxic. I'm gonna stay in. Just don't go into bronze on or Gengar or Reuniclus. Ah uh, no! <laughs> I was I was thinking he would go for the pain split there, but now the Kofagri just stays low. Looking at this though, I'm gonna set up a spike. Even if I die, the spikes are gonna stay there. Just for Psy Wave. That gonna kill me with the curse. Wait, why doesn't the curse kill me? Or is the Psy Wave damage combined with the curse damage, I guess? The Rose Raid is still alive, which is good. I think going Scissor is pretty since he's running Psywave, Trick Room, Stellbrook, I guess. What else? I don't think you'll run HP Fire on this. Worst case scenario is T-Wave. But it's not very likely on the Trick Room team. So I'm just gonna U-turn as he does end up getting up his rocks. Um I get the U-turn damage of actually quite a bit, so some nice damage. And I'm gonna bring in my hip out and just to get up my rocks. I think my rose right is gonna die to rocks. So just get up my own rocks. 
If I have a spike up, uh, it's gonna be worth it for me. He actually goes straight into Conkel there, so Conkel there is gonna take spike damage, plus the stealth rock damage. But honestly, I only need a Powdown for this. So, Baymorp. I'm gonna roar him in case it's bulk up. Oh, he just goes straight for Facade. That's a lot, but he's gonna take Rocky Helmet Chip. So he's most likely not bulk up. Uh, we roar him into Bronze Song, which is actually good, because now I can get a free slack off of. We also don't see an item on Bronze Song, so it was most likely Mental Herb. Just for Psywave, that's definitely not gonna kill me. I mean, you can get the bottom back to pretty much full HP. Um, he's running Trigger, so I don't think it's Double Dance uh, Reuniclus. Most likely Life Warp. Uh, recover 3 attacks or something. It actually goes for Psywave again. Okay. Ideally, I would like Hippowden and a lot of health. I'm gonna slack off again. Hopefully, he doesn't spam Psywave. He goes for Trick. The Trick Room didn't end, right? That's strange. It's kind of sucks that we don't get a notification, but I have, now I have Scissor in. Bronson doesn't touch my scissor, he goes into Kofagricus now, and I'm pretty free to just... Even... I don't know if the Trick Room is up now, but I'll Bullet Punch here. It's priority anyway, as he goes into the Bronson. So if Kofagricus is gonna die to Hazards now... Yeah, this, the leftovers are really helping my scissor against those rocks. I don't know what to expect, uh, I guess Trick Room up or not. Because if you Trick Room twice in a row, um, you'll get rid of your... Yeah, I'm outspeeding him, so he got... And he Trick Rooms now, so that means the Trick Room is up. Right? Now wait! No! Because I outspeed him, so... Yeah, Trick Room always goes last, so... He actually got rid of his own Trick Room. He got rid of his Trick Room now, so my... My Scissor is faster than his team. They should really... Uh, add an icon or somewhere for Trick Room, because... <laughs> it's really confusing to me as well. I'm pretty sure it's not up. Because I, I keep outspeeding him, so... I will just roost there. I can ease, I can easily set up on this bronze on because it doesn't do anything to me. Goes into Arenaclus. So, it might be Hidden Power of Fire. So, I think it's in my best interest to just U-turn. Anything else will take a lot of damage from this anyway. Uh, since I'm plus 4. As he goes Kofagrigus. But that means Kofagrigus is gonna die and Scizor stays in. So, I still have a plus 4 Scizor. In front of him. And with that plus 4, I'm pretty sure I kill everything. Now Bronson comes in. I think Bullet Punch just knocks him out. I don't, I don't want him setting up another Trick Room. Uh, judging from how much U-turn he did last time, I'm pretty sure Bullet Punch will kill him, because I'm plus four. Nice. Now Conkelder comes in, but with, with, the, with the boost and this hazard damage, Bullet Punch should knock him out as well. Now this is gonna be the Scissor Sweep. Not sure why he doesn't go Reuniclus and switch to Gengar or something. Just to bait me to U-turn, because he has seen my whole move set. Because, but maybe he doesn't have hidden power of fire on the on the Reuniclus. But I should be able to kill the Marowak, right? Like after the hazard damage, bullet punch.
Like, it should be a kill. So, we're just bullet punching her. Unless he's max defense as well. But if if he's only max HP, then we kill him. Yeah. Our Uniclus comes in. And he forfeits. Oh, I, I was going to U-turn there. But... <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. 807.92. Which did we get? 0.89. Not that much. Not that much. Okay. That's gonna put us... Okay. If we win one more, we might be... Um, if we win one more, we might be... Uh, top 90. So that's what we're going for. That's what we're going for. See if we can win. Anyway, uh, I don't enter the queue. Uh, pause the video till we find another battle, guys. Hey guys, few seconds on queue. Um, let's see if we can get the top ninety spot. <laughs> Oh, that uh, looks a bit annoying. Star is always annoying. I'm gonna lead Rodom. As he leads uh, Magnezone. Well, I literally have no reason not to click Hydro Pump right there. Like, the only thing he can switch into it is the Gyarados. That's the only thing that resists. Ah, uh, Star as well, but Star doesn't want to take a Volt Switch either. Uh, I think he goes. Garchomp, most likely. Makes the most sense. But still, Garchomp is gonna take like half its HP. We do connect. Ooh, that looks like a 2 hit KO. I'm actually gonna debug on this turn. Looks like the only style rocker on this team. I, I obviously can knock him out, but. By defogging, I'm ensuring that the next Hydro Pump hits. And if he goes for Stealth Rock here, I remove the Stealth Rock as well. Yes, nice. And it would actually be really amazing if my Hydro Pump knocks him out there. But if I get a low roll, it's going to be super unfortunate. <laughs> Ideally, I don't want to deal with Stealth Rock. I'm going to Hydro here. If he goes for a Rock, so be I at least gain some recovery on Rotom. Rodom can still defuck on his team, though. What is he gonna do? He's going. F he might just go for rocks. Like really wanting to have up rocks. But, uh. I ideally kill him here. I don't care if he gets up with rocks here, as long as I get to kill him. Uh, because if he goes for rocks, I have Rotom at pretty much full HP. Meaning that I don't have to worry about a Nazi plot from Gengar. Because with extra leftovers, I'll be able to live it. But if he gets up rocks here and he lives Hydro Pump, that's like super bad for me. Because then he get, can get out of an extra attack on Rotom. And I have to choose whether I kill him or not. And I don't want to play that mind game. But more importantly... Okay, he goes for Draco here. So please kill him. Then he doesn't get up rocks. I think I, I, think I, I, think I got the lowest roll there. That is really unfortunate just because he can get up rocks now. Or it can even lower me more. I think he'll go for rocks, but I'll knock him out. And this is what I mean, guys. He got the extra Draco off on me. This makes defogging a lot harder for me. But I am going to need to defog because my Salamence is the only thing that outspeeds Starmie and Gengar. And Magnezone if it's Scarfed. And it maybe needs to deal with Gyarados as well. So this is actually really bad for me. Um... It got really good for me uh, when I called the defog right, but now it's super bad for me because I didn't kill him. Now Gengar comes in, but like I, said, I really need to get off my uh, my defog with the elements. Like it needs to check multiple things, 
And he gets a free nasty plot. Unfortunate. Because now Rodom is gonna die. He's most likely going for Shadow Ball. So, what I'll do is I'll go Scissor. I need to force this Gengar out. Yeah, okay, let's go for Shadow Ball. Like he could he could switch into Magnus on there, but I cannot I uh, go for that prediction. The, the most important thing right now is forcing this Gengar to switch out. And he does stay in, so I do get the bullet punch damage off. And now the only thing that outspeeds him is Salamence. Hopefully he won't. Um he doesn't have a good switch anyway, aside from the Magnezon. But I could be going for Earthquake Air as well. I'll just Dragon Claw. If he switches out, at least he won't have his boost up. And please don't get the Curse Body on me. Okay, nice. But yeah, with Rotom this low, I don't have a switch for Starmie. So that's also going to be a problem. That's what I mean. That uh, not killing the Garchomp there was really bad for me. Because he got Stealth Rock up and he got damage off on Rotom. Yeah, I'll go Rotom here. As he Dragon Dances up. So he must be faring on Volt Switch. So if he has Power Whip, he has to click it right here. And most Gyaradoses do run Power Whip, so... Uh, I'm gonna go back into my Salamence, get the Intimidate off. If he Ice Fangs me, so be it. Um, but I feel like I have to make this play. Let's go for power whip. Yeah, and I already did this a bunch of times, so maybe he knows about my team. Still gonna Thunder Fang here. Gonna risk him having Ice Punch, but this is why I needed to get rid of um, the Stealth Rock, because Salamence has to check so many things on his team, and if it can only do it a limited amount of times when Stealth Rocks are up. Yeah, if the Garchomp didn't get off the Draco on me, I could have still defugged without having to fear the Nasty Plus from the Gengar earlier. I do miss Thunderfang. Wouldn't have done much anyway, but it would have still done damage. And I'm kind of forced to switch, and he's most likely going for Volt Switch. But I cannot risk the Flash Cannon on my Hippo. Because then I'll be completely open to... Um, getting weakened by the Conkeldur. He goes Conkeldur now. I don't know if Mach Punch knocks me out since I'm specially defensive, but I feel like I have to make the Volt Switch play. And we bring in the Hip Out in there. So we got some nice damage on Conkel there. As he goes for Drain Punch. Yeah. It does a lot of damage, but... Um, fine. I go for rocks here. He has a star main that can rapid spin, most likely though. Maybe it's better to keep him out on healthy, so it can maybe come in on the Magnezon. As he goes, Gyarados there. So I don't know if he's running Ice Fang. He could still be running Ice Fang. We don't know. Uh, so I'm actually gonna stay in. I could, I should easily be able to live an unboosted waterfall. Should do a bit more than half. So I'm gonna roar him here. As he decides to dragon dance up. I uh, just don't roar him into Starmie. That's gonna be super bad. Anything but Starmie is fine. Okay, Magnezone. I can live with that. I don't know if he goes for Flash Cannon here. Uh, but if he doubles into Gyarados, that could be bad as well. So I'm gonna go into into Rotomir. It covers Flash Cannon, but it also covers the Gyarados switch. As he does go for Flash Cannon. Are you Specs then? Like, if you are Scarfed, it's not gonna do much. I don't know. I think that's Scarf damage. I'll full switch here. Like, I could've Pain Split it. He actually stayed in. Uh... 
good. <laughs> I should have. I should have. Uh, should have been split it there. Could have gotten more damage off on Magnezon. I still would have gained recovery on Rodon regardless of what he did. Because I needed recovery on Rotom to deal with Starmie. Yeah, that's a big misplay. I was really hoping it would go Conkelder there. Okay, I go Mienxia. We should live on... on like, if he's carved, it's not knocking me out. If he's... Um okay, go Starmie. Oh, comment for you turn there. Maybe I should have actually gone into Q-turn, because he was most likely locked into Flash Cannon, so I could have just U-turned back into the Rodon. But now he did take a lot of damage, I meaning that he's going to be in Dragon Claw range. Likely Psy Shock or Psychic coming out. He kind of has to. I could also just go for Surf, um, but Roserade could still deal with the... Magnezone plus Conkelder, so I don't feel like a second Rose Raid is the play. I also don't think I'll be able to uh, pain split with Rotom, so I'm gonna sec it. Even though Rotom is a flash cannon switch, um, Salamence should still be able to live a flash cannon. The Starmie should be in Dragon Claw range. With him having Psychic. And yeah, Salamence is the only thing that can outspeed it, so. Dr Dragon Claw also hits the Magnezone. A weakening Magnezone, which could help in a Salamence endgame. Like, a good Thunderfang here should, should also knock him out, but if Magnezone does come in. Magnezone will resist the attack and I will basically gain nothing, so I'll Dragon Claw. But he actually went into Gar- Dude, if I click Thunderfang, even with the Intimidate, I'm pretty sure Dragon- Um, the Gyarados would have died. But here, though, I don't know if he's gonna go for Ice Fang straight away, if he has it. He hasn't shown it yet. Maybe he just Dragon Dances first. What we could do- is just Dragon Claw again. Is he Dragon Dance? I don't think I'll kill him with the leftovers recovering. So here we can bring in the Hip Bowden. And with, with the Sandstorm plus Rocky Helmet. I can revenge kill him with Salamence. Yeah, Magnezone is, is the biggest threat. But that he would bring in the Gyarados on this, though. While I revealed Thunderfang and he had a Starmie in, that's pretty ballsy. It's for Ice Fang here. It doesn't do it, Kiyomi. I don't know if he goes for Waterfall or another Ice Fang, though. Okay, if I go Salamence on the Waterfall, I'm gonna can do something. But if he Ice Fangs, I lose this. But, but if he kills my hip out, I think he dies to Rocky Helmet plus Sandstorm. Maybe I'll just slack off uh, and hoping he would go for Ice Fang and otherwise he still is go Okay, let's go for Waterfall, unfortunate. But that should definitely kill me. Hopefully he dies. I, I don't know if Leftovers go- I think Leftovers goes first though. No. Okay, he does die, so... That is somewhat helpful. Or Magnezone. I feel like my play is always to go into Salamence, because if he leads Magnus on, I can just get, go for Firefang. 
I really wish I had Earthquake Air, though. Yeah. Thing is, though, um... If I fire Fang, he might full switch into Starmie. Like, I want a Dragon Claw so badly here. But... If he doesn't full switch, it's gonna... Th th that is actually really bad for me. Because Salamence is gonna take a lot of damage. So maybe it's better to bring a Rose over it. If he does full switch, Starm, he does come in. To do a Rose Raid. We'll go Rose Raid. If he Volt switches his hand, I think that might be it. Yeah. This is uh, not good. I got me and show you after after second. Because I need Salamence to live a hit from Magnezone. And maybe from Conkelder. Since I I'm gonna be able to knock him out, so now we go into this and now the question is do we fire Fang? We fire Fang on Mag the Magnus on Switch because then a Dragon Claw sweep might be possible. Or we Dragon Claw and knock out the Starmie. I feel though, if if we Dragon Claw, we're still damaging the Mag the Magnuson. Like I could definitely fire Fang here. Expecting Magnuson. But he could also just be like, let's sack this. So I'm gonna Dragon Claw. As he does go Magnus Hunt, unfortunately. Like, he could have just sacked Starmie. And go for a sweep with Magnus Hunt and Conkelder. Conkelder with a priority move and Magnus Hunt just getting off strong Flash Cannon. Now, yeah. It's really unfortunate. I'm in a checkmate position. I'm, I have to stay in. He's just gonna Volt Switch anyway. Like, if I would have gone Rose right there, he would have just gone into Starmie. Now Conkelder comes in. Yeah, Conkelder is not in range of his attack. I'm gonna bring in Rose Raid. Rock Blasts. Only two hits. But I should be in Mach Puncher range. But he's gonna take an extra burn tick. But he switches. Um, Giga Drain might put him in range of Dragon Claw. So the only way I can win if I actually crit the Conkelder. But I like that out more than... Having to click fire, being in a position where I have to click fire fang. I'm gonna try to set up a. S Wait! That guy went for HP. Why didn't he click flash cannon there? Like my Salamence would have lived at HP fire and I would have won. That's insane. Oh well. The Dragon Claw and hopefully. I'm pretty sure Conkelder is not in range and unless he's like no HP. So I need to get a crit there. Let's see it. Yeah, he barely lives. Really unfortunate. If I was adamant, I would have won this game. <laughs> if I was adamant, I would have actually... 
that would have been a difference if I was actually adamant. And I do like Scarf adamant, but yeah, it's some s certain things you want to outspeed. I'm just going to queue up again. So we have to make up for this loss, otherwise we won't be. Okay, we're 806 now, so otherwise we won't be top 100 any. And also we have to win. I'm going to try to win two games then. Really unfortunate. It's like I said, guys, if I killed the guard chomp, uh, I, either he wouldn't have add up rocks or the the Rotom wouldn't have been low to the point where I could have gotten up rocks and uh, defog against something else. But he did. He got both but he, because I didn't 2 it KO him. Second roll was really low. But yeah, that was really unfortunate, guys. If I got it, I'm pretty sure the game would have gone in a different direction. But... Yeah, those are rolls. Sometimes you you get them, sometimes you don't. Um, just missed out on a bit of damage on the like on Calder as well. So if I got enough, if I went for Stealth Rock instead of Slack Up with uh, Hippowden as well, that that could have been a difference as well. 